Welcome back to A42 Media. Today we are going over how to add clips into your timeline on DaVinci Resolve. So what you're going to want to do is go onto your bins where your clips are located. I'm going to use the smart bins with the keywords. So we're going to click on that and we want to use the Sparks stock footage. So we're going to double click on that. It's going to automatically open up into the source viewer. And we can use the scrubber bar to uh, locate what part of the clip we want to uh, put into the timeline, or we can actually just go from the beginning and press the space bar or the L keypad uh, to play it over. Now I want to bring this clip into the timeline and there are several ways you can do this. You can click it, hold it and drag it into the timeline. However, this is a manual way of adding clips. It's very limiting. So we're going to try a different step. Press Command Z. Now I'm going to pick up the clip and drag it into the time viewer. So we're going to go up here, click it and drag it into the time viewer. The clip is instantly edited into the timeline. Now, if you use the up arrow on the keypad, you will be returned to the beginning of the timeline. Use the L key to play it back. Now, let's cut the clip where we want it to end. So let's click the detailed zoom button, which is right over here. So now we can get a closer look at the timeline. You can use the J and L keys to move backwards and forwards. Find the specific point you want the clip to end. This is a good place to cut the clip. So now I'm going to click the full extent zoom button, which is right over here, which will bring me back to the normal view of the full timeline. Now the playhead is where I want it to be to make that cut. We're going to go to the source view right over here, and we're going to double click this clip. We're going to play it through. So up key, play. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. How many people click on your video? If it appears on their screen, if you've ever been on YouTube, you scroll past all those videos where you're decreasing the click through rate. Any frame that comes onto your screen is an impression and a click through rate is the percentage of people that then click on your video. Once so now I'm gonna show you guys a tool that's very helpful in your workflow to make these cuts. We're gonna go up to the source viewer and we're gonna click these three little dots right here. We're going to go down to show zoom audio waveform. Now you can scrub through the clip and see all the audio associated with that clip. So now we're going to play the clip through so that we can find the in and out point of the clip we want to add to the timeline. So to move forward and backwards on this clip, you're going to press J to move backwards, L to move forwards, and then you can also hold K and then press L to keep moving forward, but in little pieces, instead of just moving forward all the way. So for example, if I press play, YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. How many people click on your hold K and you can move L by pressing it like this. J while holding K. So we're going to go back. We're going to press I for endpoint because we want the clip to start there. Then we're going to press play. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. How many people click on your video? If it appears on their screen, if you've ever been on YouTube, you scroll past all those videos where well, you're decreasing their click through rate. Any frame that comes onto your screen is an impression, and a click through rate is the percentage of people that then click on your video. Once somebody gets into your content, then what it goes to is watch time. You're getting... Right where he says watch time, that's where we want it to end. So we're going to hold K and click on the J key bit by bit until he finishes saying watch time, which is right here. That's when he says watch time and we want it to end there. So we're going to press out with the O key. Now that I have my new clip ready for the timeline, I'm going to use it to overwrite and edit into the timeline right here where my player head is at so that this clip will begin where the player head ends. So to do that, I can click and drag and drop this clip into the timeline viewer or a faster way of doing it is going down right above the timeline and click on overwrite clip.
So those are the basics on how to add clips into the timeline. We will be posting more DaVinci Resolve clips and tutorials on this page. So stay tuned. Hope you guys have a great day.